Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, March 16th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My cat is around somewhere. <laughs> and I have with me this beautiful icon of Christ. Jesus is looking very peaceful here, and our world is so not peaceful and full of horror of war right now. I know he looks down upon us and weeps. And yet there's always hope, always hope for a more peaceful world. We continue today in the book of Genesis. Joseph knows that these men who've come to ask him for food are in fact his brothers. He accuses them of being spies. He's overwhelmed by his anger and feelings. He has so many feelings. He will weep three times before the resolution of this relationship. And he says to them, I'm gonna throw you in prison, you're spies. And they say, no, we're just coming this for food. And then he calls them out of prison after three days and says, I'll tell you what, you tell me you have a little brother. You go back and get your little brother and bring supplies to your family, but bring your little brother back to me so I know you're telling the truth. And meanwhile, I will keep one of you here in prison. They turn to each other and speak and they say, look what's happening to us. One of our brothers is going to be held captive because we sold our brother into captivity. In other words, they realize how much pain they've caused and they are repenting, but they have no idea who Joseph is. When he hears them saying this to each other, he cries. And they set off, but he hides some silver in their bag. And they're horrified when they open their bag of bags of grain to find silver in it, which someone has planted there, they know they haven't stolen it. And so Joseph is trying to forgive, but he can't. He's feeding them, but he's also so angry, of course, rightly so. He cries when he hears their repentance, but it's not quite enough. And here we see this wrestling process, which is forgiveness. Forgiveness, we often think is just a one-shot deal. You either forgive or you don't. You either let go or you don't let go, but many times we let go and then we pick it back up again. The process of forgiveness is just that, it's a process. Sometimes it takes a lifetime to forgive those who have really done you wrong, or at least many years. It can be like grief. Don't think for a moment that you're not forgiving if you find yourself again angry at something or again resentful or wanting to retaliate. Remember Joseph, he cries and struggles and frames them and throws them in jail, all in a process of trying so hard because he knows deep down inside that all of the things that have happened to him have been for good, that God had that in mind. So struggle and wrestle and keep doing the process of forgiveness. It may never end, you may have to keep on trying but it's in the trying that we are forgiven. Let us pray. Almighty God, you bring us in safety to this new day. Bless us, O Lord, and bless the people of Ukraine and this world. Guide us to peace, to forgiveness, to understanding. Bless those who suffer. Bless the refugees, the war victims, the lonely, the hungry, those who are lost and anxious. Guide us, O oh Lord, in all that we do that we can be instruments of your peace, of reconciliation, of forgiveness. Show us today, this very day, what you would have us do. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who loves us and gave himself for us. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.